Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com. This is a video of a Windows 10 Mobile 14342, which is released for Windows Insiders. A week later than the PC version, I don't know what the holdup was exactly, but it's available now. So, uh, first thing to say about this as well, if you're going to be upgrading your phone, they do warn on the blog post that you might be stuck on the Windows logo for some 30 or 40 minutes after the initial install. And just to leave it, there are a couple of workarounds as well, around switching it off and things. Um, I didn't experience that, this just worked as normal. So, uh, check out the blog post on the digitallifestyle.com if you do get stuck with that. So, what's new in this one? Well, there's a few things, mainly the same features as in the PC version. So, I'll uh, load a web page and show you something in Edge. Okay, so I've got a web page open here, and net within this build, you can do swipe to go back. So, I can swipe like that and go back. Now I know it's only a little tiny thing but it's a really handy feature and I do like having that. I think you can also swipe to go forward as well. So it's a nice quick way of navigating through web pages and I think uh, a lot of people requested that. It was in the earlier Windows 8.1 and now it's back in Windows 10. It's working same in the PC version. Some other things have changed. Um, apps for websites there's nothing to see, none of the apps support this yet. See, app for website, and this is where you can associate apps with websites so that it opens the links, maybe Twitter or Facebook open their own links, or maybe Groove Music for opening music type links, things like that. Um, anyway, no apps currently support that, that's coming soon, but that setting is there. Other changes include uh, easy to find categories in the feedback hub. But I do want to talk about some of the things that have been fixed. There's a whole list of things that are fixed, and um, I'll include the details on the, on the post on the digitallifestyle.com. The main one that I was hitting with this was um, Groove Music, Movies and TVs, Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, and a few other apps were coming up with a 0x800 error when you try to play content, content on it. That was a DRM issue, and that has been fixed with this now. So you no longer got that issue at all, which is which is really good. Um, also, Tweetium now works as well, which is <laughs> which is good because that is one of the my favourite Twitter app, and uh, that now loads up and works. There we go. It's working away. Now I'm good. on the music play. Well, let me start some music playing. Uh, the previous build int introduced, or the previous few builds actually, introduced lock music controls on the lock screen, like that. They now look better like buttons. I know it doesn't, you can't probably tell much from a video, but before you just could tap them and it did what you asked, but now they actually look action, so it's a bit more intuitive, which I think makes makes sense. There's some other things like improved uh, GPS coordinates when driving so that should make the turn by turn navigation better. Uh, they've added some um, devices to the program so the Lumia icon, the blue Win HD LTE uh, 150E and the blue Win Junior 130E as well. They fixed issues with group music playing, um, they've made the the goodbye message, when you shut the phone down, you say goodbye message, it stays right on until the phone actually switches off rather than sort of part way through, so it makes it easier to know you've, 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 um, you've turned it off. There are still some issues with dual SIM devices on the second SIM. Um, the feedback hub doesn't lo uh, localise into, uh, into non-US English, it stays in US English, it doesn't matter what language you've got installed. There's um, app may crash when you rearrange um, quick action settings under system notifications. Um, I what Microsoft say is don't change your quick action settings on this build. Uh, you'll have to hard reset if you do it. So this is where you can rearrange those. You might lose one, and so don't mess with those. And um, also in this, the Wi-Fi sense sharing of hot po hot spot passwords has has been removed. And you can look at the PC build uh, video to see the details on that.
So that's a real quick look at this build. Uh, this is. 14342 for Windows Insiders. Like I said, we, a week after the PC build, so we may even get another build this week as we get a new PC build this week. But for now, this is looking good. It's got rid of the main issue that I had with um, the DRM and Tweetium, so I think this is almost ready to go on my main phone. Thanks for watching other videos on our YouTube channel.